All right, cooking grenades. Nothing too crazy so far. Just standard snake stuff. Let's see who's going to be able to get first blood here. Oh, actually, I really like what Shogun's doing here. Tripping up the movement, being able to land them on platforms, cooking them up, having them available arsenal. That grenade control is really good. Of yeah. course, that's something you need to be have for a standard with all snakes. Is if you don't have grenade control, then, then like, why are you playing the character, man? I do like that every time Shogun does have the grenades cooked and in place, he kind of looks at the timer from him and he times it at the right moment where when he throws it, the explosion would actually detonate enough to hit some sort of being afloat. Mm -hmm. And you're definitely seeing a lot of uh, weight bounces and B reverses mm -hmm. or turnaround Bs. Look, working out very good so far. He's, he's make, kind of making a minefield out of the scenario, but I like what Sam is doing, playing a patient game, making sure he can navigate around them, keeps himself in the air, and just trying to stay away from Snake's hitboxes because those are really strong meaties, and especially in the air. Okay, gets another trade. Oh, he, I didn't even know the C4 was there, but he planted another C4 right back at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was just kind of a difficult scenario. It's like, do I take the hit on the grenades or do I try to get around him and hope that he doesn't press down B? But that was just a tough spot to be in. Yeah. And the one thing for Shogun, too, to actually plant the C4 back at the scene of the crime, that he's still able to hit Samsora because Samsora never thought he would actually be it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love how he's uh, planting the grenades. Usually he'll put it behind him too, so if he if his opponent tries to either, like cross him up or try to get oh I just looked down for a second and I saw a bomb. <laughs> you're blink you're blinking and might miss it, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so that that worked out for Samsora. Anyways, yeah, so he'll put the grenade like right behind him, so if his opponent tries to roll behind him or cross him up, then he might get hit by the grenade explosion instead. So it's kind of uh, gives him a little extra, especially because of uh, snakes mm -hmm. uh, different options on the ground. He had some sort of so forced out that some sort of wanted to go for a down air and immediately Shogun parried it to the up tilt, knowing that some sort of had already reached that percent. Oh god, that nair, I hate it so much. I hate, the, <laughs> I hate dash attack. That's the move that's the, that tilts me. Yeah. Oh, it's it's a great burst option and it's intangible on the arms. Like, and a low profile? Yeah, are you kidding me? It's like, so like three and it's one. Such, such a good move, man. Like, imagine if every character had snake's dash attack. <laughs> Instant high tier. Anyways, here we go. So, Sam Sora down a whole stock. Yeah. And Shogun knows what this lead means to him, too. He's making sure the Ward of Attrition rate is on. Yeah, I love how he, like, drops the grenades and trips him up into thinking he's going to leave it there and then picks him up and throws it back at him. Yeah. He's cooked enough, long enough, too, so that he just gets an instant grenade throw out of it. Exactly. Extra damage. And the explosion will be right in there. Oh, that was almost a five check on the shield. <laughs> yeah. All right, All right high recovery. Pretty good option. He's not going to go for, oh, wait, I'm sorry, B-reverse. Landing to probably switch up between C4 because he knows it's already penalized at the ledge. Alrighty, what are we gonna see here? A C4, an up tilt. No C4, it's at the ledge. And he knows, but he mixed up Samsora. He told him I only let it go just so I can hit you on the way back down. So he blew, okay, uh, let's just get this straight. He blew up a C4, and then he decided, okay, I'm gonna B reverse C4. <laughs> That's what I'm and, saying, and too. And then destroy you on my landing. So I was like, nope. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, he's not going to go for a B reverse C4 because of the ledge. And then he lets go of it because, you know what? I forget it. I want it to be in your face instead. You know, look at Sam Sora's face right now. He's just That's saying, like, he, he's like, I am so done with this right now. <laughs> like, Why I do, do not want to deal with this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? Man, his tweet was on point. He knows what it means to fight a Japanese snake. <laughs> he does not look happy. All right, but here we go. Let's see. No wonder, Game he, two. No wonder he made a list of 40 characters he doesn't want a money match against. Yeah. There's, a new, there's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new game. Let's see if Sensori can bring this back around. If I was Shogun, man, he knows Nintendo's watching, man. Don't, don't, give, away all the, <laughs> don't give away all the snake secrets. Right, trying to get a big combo. That's a decent amount of damage, actually. Big trades coming in, though. Yeah, it kind of just makes it difficult for Peach to really do what she likes doing best, which is control the air. Just because the grenades have a pretty decent uh, hurt box size. Oh, and the grenade being right there. Cooked long enough back because he still hit some sort of the explosion. Yeah. All right, Perry comes in. Yeah, I, Sam Sora's trying to spend time, like, trying to set up, but he's having a bit of a difficult time just really getting in. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, how can you, right? You kind of have to play yeah. a little bit patient and watch yourself on the timing when you try to fight Snake because you have to worry about the grenade being cooked. You have to worry about C4. And the way that Shogun plays, he's not afraid to toss in the actual Nikita and follow up with the grenades to even just check if you let go of shield or not. 
Yeah, I just love the micro spacing. Like you saw a little bit earlier, he did like uh, he pulled out the grenade, then did like an instant turnaround, and then dash attack. Like tripped up transfer so much, but there we go. Gonna get an up tilt, close out the stock. Shogun is looking a little untouchable at the moment. Yeah. Like we're talking about one of one of our current top five players, top two best players with the way that Samsara has been doing this this PGR season. Yeah, and. Uh, it, what what is Shogun even ranked? Like I remember he's always in like the tens area in, in yeah. Japan VR. That's kind of I don't know. It just kind of feels like it puts things into perspective. And you have to think about Japan's meta game. How different it differentiates from here in the U.S. Right? Mm -hmm. They live in a whole different meta game in a whole different state. I'm sorry, country. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, so, so many places to cover with the grenades. I feel like Battlefield was like kind of a tough pick because he can land the grenades on the platforms and just cover so much space, kind of making a <laughs> minefield in the skies as well. I mean, he knows, right? If Samsora is not going to be on the ground, I have to make sure the minefield is everywhere. Yeah. At this point, Samsora is playing Minesweeper. Woo, boy. Oh, my God. This is raining bombs right now. The fair not going to be able to do it quite yet. Another high Nikita recovery. I have, to ask, I have to ask Kojima. You said Snake was a stealth operative, but he looks like he's <laughs> putting Michael Bay. He's going in guns blazing <laughs> right now. I'm saying, dude. <laughs> Kojima tossing in his sleep right now. <laughs> Yo, weak back here? <laughs> oh, my God. And that hitbox lasts so long, it too. Does. It so does. It is, it's so much coverage there. Oh, Woo! excuse you for being <laughs> at the platform. Shogun knows what it means to have all these mix-ups on Samsora. It's like, how dare you get grabbed by me? How <laughs> that, you, you will now suffer <laughs> eternal pain because of it. It's What's even crazy is Shogun's movement with Snake. I cannot even comprehend where the C4 is being placed. <laughs> I don't even know where it is half the time. All right, here we go. Down throw, up tilt. Up tilt, that'll do it. Yep. Even that got the two pummels that he needed to. Yeah. Started. Samsora is shaking in his head, man. He's like, man, the crowd is against me. Team Japan is up against me. Yeah, man. I forgot how how stupid Snake is sometimes. <laughs> I forgot how he how stupid he was. I right, thank you, thank you, Shogun, for reminding me. Nintendo, I hope you're watching. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know whoever character five is, man, but he's bringing a lot of buffs to Nerf. That's, that's for sure, man. <laughs> that oh, is for boy. sure. Oh my god. All right, here we go. <laughs> I don't want to count Samsora out, but just the way Shogun's playing is looking kind of grim. <laughs> to to 3-0 a top two player in the world is not an easy feat, but Shogun making it look out here like it's possible. I mean, but I mentioned it earlier, right? Japan's metagame is in a whole different world entirely. Okay. Potential big peach combo. Okay, just gonna get the standard. I, I feel like... I feel like Shogun's the only snake that I've seen that like actually likes using Nikita in neutral. It's yeah. quite fascinating because you know most of the time Nikita's used when you're trying to edge guard. But he, I, like, I don't, I don't really know what he benefits from it from in neutral. But you know what, it's working so far. He hasn't been punished for it, and so. And he didn't like the C4 placement there, so he immediately gets rid of it. He knows what, what good the C4 can do against Samsora when it's in the right place. Oh, that's a check. That's a check. He's got it on Samsora at 103. But he switches onto the, to Shogun. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Yeah, Samsora, I, I feel like half the damage that Shogun gets is just from his own grenades. Like, I feel like Samsora doesn't really actually get that much damage on Shogun. That back air was finally one damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's kind of like Pichu in a sense too, right? Or Pichu, the damage Pichu does to itself sometimes is all that Pichu is taking. Mm -hmm. Yo, you know, you know what should be a, a, a stream event? We should just have a stream side event is like just watch Shogun for 30 minutes practice like grenade movement and see like what can happen. That's the melee. I remember in melee too. They have like how many how many clicks does West Ball's doing his controller? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. Turn up was able to uh, destroy the cyclone. So there's gonna be again an edge guard. Okay, we got a two stock even situation here. Oh, dot face 25% off the bat. Very interesting using jab one and then re oh, he always tries to jab one and reset into like a, a dare or something instead. He doesn't. He never completes the jab. All right, Samsora looking to finally ease in on Shogun. He's got a lead finally in percents. Let's see how long he can hold it here. Yeah, all the grenades cooking right now. 
It's a minefield. Grenades cooking, Pernups are, Pernups are pulling. Yeah, even if he leaves the grenades cooking in front of him, that just denies Samsora the ability to approach because Peach is relatively so he can't dash through the grenades mm -hmm. really quickly. So he's probably going to take the hits. So that just allows Shogun more time to recollect himself, return back to neutral, and then continue the same process again. And you mentioned it yourself too, the way that Shogun likes to place him behind into if Samsora does go for a cross up, he has something to cover himself. Mm -hmm. Check damage, C4 on the platform. Some sort of has to watch the landing and how he chooses it. Okay, there we go. Hit him off. Okay, yeah, he decides, okay, now the positioning is not good for the C4. We'll just try and go for it another time. He's gonna watch out for the C4 landing here. Center stage, not enough though. Some yeah. sort of has already been pushed out by the grenade. And of course, Snake, infamous for survivability. Be a heavy be able to take it. so much damage. That was such a great arc he had the Nikita too, because he also accounted for a Peach going for the Peach Bomber. Yeah. Very nice so far though. Samsora very consistent getting the Peach Bomber to negate the Nikita, get through. And finally, Samsora with I think the first lead he's had this entire set. Uh, sorry, set, yeah. It doesn't even feel like a set too, right? It yeah. feels like just the game with how fast the Shogun's been moving those, those grenades. Well, let's see, can Shogun close out the stock? That's the main question here. Because now all of a sudden, never mind. Okay, he is able to close out the stock. Now all of a sudden, this is an even game. It's like when Snake starts to play from behind, it's, he starts to look a little bit worse at the character. Yeah. But when he has the lead, it's definitely, uh, definitely tough. <laughs> and the lead snowballs too with all the damage and all the tools Snake has. Definitely. All right, going for the high recovery yet again. It's usually the trademark of a Snake main, right? He has yeah. to go for that high recovery. Last hit of Nair into down tilt, that's a 27%. Interesting. Up air, Samsora looking to close the stock. Oh, the that, armor comes through. Mm -hmm, and he ha you have to consistently break it with one hit. It cannot be a multi-hit. Stitch? Oh, yeah, it was a stitch, but decides not to to use it, not, not hold on to it. Okay, grenade breaks it up. Not going to get hit by C4. Samsora being very careful, navigating these landmines very, very carefully. Big opportunity for Samsora to try and close out the stock right here. Another high recovery. Oh, there we go. Somewhere over the rainbow, you will find game three going to Samsora right there. Samsora was looking across the rainbow road indefinitely. And finally, he's got a point on the board and pushing himself game four up against Shogun. Shogun letting go of the Cypher at that, that opportunity here. I, I think it's like frame 47 where you can finally let go of Cypher. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, that frame was not the right frame for Shogun to let go. Definitely not looking so good. Or definitely starting to turn around. For, They're looking good Samsora. at that point for Shogun, but turning around for Samsora. Yes. Okay, he goes for the snake again. Game four here, Battlefield. This is Samsora's do or die moment. Shogun is still at set point. And immediately with 27%, and the check on the shield with the C4 explosion immediately. Yeah. I like the fact that Shogun doesn't waste time to try to see when Shamsor will let go of shield and see what other place he can get for. He just wants him to see, okay, let go now, and whatever lead I can get from here mm -hmm. is worth it. Wow, Shogun hasn't been touched yet so far. <laughs> I think he's back on his home ground on Battlefield. All right, what's it? Oh, okay, try to find a mix up on the down smash. Not quite. But the way that Shogun is playing with Snake Man, it makes you wonder, how does he lose? <laughs> but whatever. Um, very brave of Shogun to go for that. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I, I like what Shogun's been doing for a lot of the set. That I don't really agree with. But you know what? If it works, it works. <laughs> Who am I to judge you when you're holding the sticks, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But he, he, he did suffer a lot of damage because of that one, uh, one RPG. <laughs> so... All right, let's see. Okay, another grenade explosion. And then Nikita, man, just keeping Samsora at bay right now. And the wave bounce grenade. Oh, and the four <laughs> to finish him off. Shogun now with a lead, 84%. Did you see that, though? Four to one, wait for him to do something else, and then just four to him on the other side. That was so smart. And right. it's, the, it's the panic option, right? Yeah. At this point, you're, you're getting away from the other follow up of the four to Your thought process is, I'm getting away, but you never see yourself getting that scot free. Yeah. Very nice stuff. Okay, high recovery again. Gets around it. 
it's like, man, you're, you're supposed to try and take advantage of Snake in the air, but he has just enough mix-ups where you can, like, throw him off, I feel. Yeah. So it's very hard to actually start juggling Snake once you have him in, like, a disadvantaged position. Oh, I like he, he wanted to go back for Grenade, but he also angled the shield knowing that Grenade would have shield poked him on the explosion there. Shogun at 185. Uh, okay. Uh, very, very interesting. Just kind of stalls for time <laughs> with the two grenades and puts himself in the air, but and it's the Sensora position. sees through it. Yeah, and it's the, like you said, Sensora definitely saw through it being center stage already, right? It was Shogun who kind of had to come to him. He wanted to make sure he was coming in safer at that high percent. Just leaving those grenades wherever he thinks Samsora might land. Trying to keep up the control here now that he has center stage. Yeah, it's kind of kind of hard. Uh, once a grenade is cooked, then he goes in for a burst option. And then if he gets away from it, then the grenade's there to cover it as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's, he's, wait. Sorry, for a second, I thought he got the C4 on Peach. Oh, okay. Not quite, it doesn't look like. Man, the Nikita control all of a sudden. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and like you said earlier, too, you don't. it's really uncharacteristic to kind of see Snake use Nikita in neutral. But Shogun is not afraid to pull out all the stops. And the forward air just enough being over that 7% armor threshold to stop him from being a Nikita. Yeah, that sorry, was a, um, Cypher. Yeah, that was a very big call from Samsora to have to go for that fair at that moment. Because now he can kind of go start to go in a little bit more. There we go. There's a big combo. Sansora starting to wake up a bit. Good cross up. You want to go for the jab? Wow. Up wow. Up from the Did nair? you see that? Did you see that? Dare force the trip into a throw, oh down throw, God. up tilt. He's next level. I didn't know Dare even did that. Did really you know that, Vance? I did not know that. I touch. did not know that either. Audience, did you know that? Let us know in the chat. <laughs> Pull out a bomb too. This time the the game's really starting to try and favor Samsora here. Nice, and he waited for it too, but he's not over the rainbow just yet. Shogun still at 124. Snake is a heavyweight. He can survive, but he lets go of the second <laughs> the wrong time. He wanted to avoid getting hit at that last second. Yo, imagine if that fair hit and like that got him to win. That would have been so cheesy. But that here we go. That would have been robbery, man. That he would have robbed the entire paycheck Samsora gets. Okay, so despite some flashy showcases from Shogun. We were looking at a Game 5 scenario. Yeah. yeah. Samsora really showing that adaptability and really deciding, okay, I, it's either now or never on these stocks. So I yeah. really got to go in and just, when I think I see an opportunity, just take it. And it's really paying off for him here. Look, what I'm, what I'm really waiting for is Samsora's tweet after this match. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for here. But we have to kind of see this Game 5 to see how it plays out between him and Shogun. Game five, here we go. Sam Sora still looks a little shaken, though. I mean, he knows how close it is, too. There's a couple slip-ups coming up on, on Shogun's game. Here we go, back on Battlefield. All right, a lot of damage already put on Shogun so far. Kind of messing up his uh, timings on the grenades, it feels like. He thinks he's cooked them long enough, and he tries to go in and grab them, and then he kind of just puts himself in a bad spot. Shogun's got to keep himself under control here. Now Samsora has a pretty decent sized lead, even with percents uh, considered. Nikita's available. Okay. I think that time he tried to angle around the Peach Bomber and then get, get around it be uh, behind the hitbox of it. Nice, 152. Unfortunately, though, Shogun will be caught in the explosion. Yeah, very nice, actually. Looks like Samsora's starting to get a feel where Shogun likes the burst option, and then he, he met him with the back air instead to be able to control that. So he's get, definitely gotten a feel for how Shogun likes to control the stage and the timings of when he starts to actually go in. So it's working out very well for Samsora. Now he's starting to get a little bit more control. He can meet him. He's starting to figure out how he picks his disadvantage options. So he's getting a lot more bigger punishes because of it. Shogun's being cautious too. You can definitely tell. I think the one thing that I do like that he's going for is he's covering the platform on the landing, knowing that some Samsora's float will actually be able to reach that range if he just try to hit him with forward air, or an air, or, or down air. Okay, another fair. Probably gonna see another option very soon. Okay, this time goes for the meaty back air. 
Oh, missed the opportunity here, but I like how he escapes the grenade. Doesn't want to take any percent or gets into the air for it. And again, just uh, being able to find that spacing on the dash tag is really working dividends for Samsora here. Oh, he okay. even, it felt like he almost accounted for that. Yeah, I think he did. He just didn't get the strong hitbox, but he still got a follow up afterwards, so. C4 on the ledge. Okay. Good opportunity, yeah. Not, not much he could have done about that. <laughs> I feel like he was kind of stuck there. At Hypersense, yeah, something's got to give with the back air four. Samsora will definitely give him a two stock lead. Uh, Samsora looking very comfortable now all of a sudden. <laughs> Just trying to trip him up with weight bounces, try to keep Samsora at bay. Gives Shogun a little bit more time to think. And he's kind of going back to those game plans he had the first two games, right? That was what's working so well for him. And the game plan has kind of shifted now that he's shifted along with Samsora's game plan. Mm -hmm. Being a little bit more careful this time around. I'm not going to get hit by the explosion. Here we go. Shogun looking up. He parried his own grenade, dude. Did you see that? He parried his own grenade. I, hey, man, <laughs> there's a reason why he's put Samsora at game five. Yeah. That's all I got to say. But still, Samsora's decent-sized lead. Let's see if Shogun can try to get the stock here. C4 available. Gets around it. But not yeah. around that. All of a sudden, Shogun brought it all the way back. And it was the the fact that even though Samsora was going to have to go around the C4, it's the landing that he picked, too. Mm -hmm. He had to go for that jump recovery to escape it. And even though Shogun wasn't there to go for the up smash, he was there to be there for the up tilt. Another Ooh. up oh, another up air follows Shogun. Slowly brought this lead Samsora had back to the T. Yeah, I mean, that's just uh, the story that's happened sometimes. Okay, that time just goes immediately for the Cyclone. This time... I like it. He tries to yeah. land with the back because he knows that hitbox lasts pretty long. Mm -hmm. But that time, Samsora was ready for it, just able to beat him in the air with it. Anyone's game at this point. You, you can see all the photographers slowly come up <laughs> to the stage. They want to see who's they, popping they, off. Yeah, they want to see who's popping off right now. Shogun at 120. He has to watch another landing. Samsora has not been going for those up airs. Bad position for Shogun. Another high recovery. What's he gonna do? Oh, and he goes for the he goes for the neutral air dodge to, on the landing. Less and lag from it to make sure he can react. Yeah, but the grenades there, so it, it, it oh, forces no. Samsora not to go in for the, another kill. C4 available on the platform there as well. He's trying to push it slowly. There's the parry in the up tilt. Not it just yet. Samsora at 101. Shogun looking for the upset. Dash goes attack. In with the dash attack. Samsora Nikita? not ready for it this time. And then Nikita comes in. There's the C4. Ah, no, he missed it. Detonated. He missed it. He doesn't go for it, though. All the pressure on the shield, though. Oh, man. High recovery. Turn ups there. What's he go for? Air dodge. But Samsora doesn't find it. A trade from both of them, but it works out for Shogun's favor here. He's looking for it, and he's being really patient, too. He doesn't want to slip up. I like oh, it, too. He's in whiff punish range against that back air. Oh, he dipped. He dived into his own grenade. I like it. C4 to cover the landing. Oh, the back air pressure from Samsora is too much. He decides to go high. Is it going to cost him? Not quite yet. No. Oh, he... weak back air. <laughs> and the low profile helped him. I like how he's putting the C4 there, though. He wants to make sure Samsora has to fight something on the landing. But when he pulls the grenade, Shogun falters Samsora with a dash attack to finish it off. Game five. Last hit of dash attack. Dash attack does it, finally, for Peach.